It's the first day of winter, so I've come up here and it's the most clear day we've had for ages, <laughs> first day of winter. So I've come up here to watch the sun rise. A bit of frost on the ground. And frosty. Panoramic air thing. <laughs> just before sunrise. The sun is meant to rise at I think 7.23 today so I'll have a quick look at my phone to see how far we've got. Well it's 17 past 7 so the sun should be rising in about 5 minutes. A little bit of fog in Hilton today, not much. Unless it's just smoke from people's chimneys. Oh, it's over there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong place. So it's going to get too bright for the camera. It's too bright for my eyes, actually. I'm going to see that a bit. There we go. Good morning, Hamilton. Yeah, let's have a look over here. Go to the top of this one and see what we can see up here, eh? Oh, look, there's my shadow. You see my shadow? Hello. Hello. You see me waving? Hello. Go right to the top of here and we'll have a look at it on the countryside. Okay, here we go. Zoom in a bit. Look at that. Cows down there. Enjoying the enjoying the sunrise after a long frosty night. It's Pedongia. Let's zoom in at Pedongia, eh? All the way from Hamilton, we're looking at it. Power lines, beautiful. I wonder where that walkway goes. Tempted to follow it. You know what? I think I might follow this path and see where it goes, even though my socks are absolutely soaked. Because of all the of all the water on the on the grass. It used to be used to be frost, but now it's just water dew. I think it might lead to a place called Taitua Arboretum. Is that is that how you say it? Arboretum? <laughs> I feel as though there should be hobbits out here. <laughs> it's a very English feel to it. Sort of, what do you mean, West Midland feel? Where Tolkien came from. But it's not, it's the white as well. Maybe this road path will lead to put on your mountain? <laughs> no. Oh man, there's a wind. Oh, that breeze is cold. Oh, that breeze is cold. That cow's looking at me. Standing on the... Oh, it's a bull. No wonder he's looking majestic. Sorry to be sexist, I'm not trying to say that cows aren't majestic as well. Standing on top of that hill looking down on me like some kind of cow god. The rest of them are just eating the grass. Still looking at me. 
mighty bull. He knows I'm talking about him. Look, his, he, oh, he's locked away now. His, his gaze was following me for a while. Oh, he's looking back at me again. Don't worry, I'm not a big fan of steak. Taitua aboard, so 20 minute walk, which means it will take me about 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, oh no, actually I got my camera with me, so it might take me half an hour. <laughs> oh, good on, good on you, using renewable energy. Using the energy that comes from that thing there. Very wasteful, isn't it? When you think about it, the sun, most of most of the energy it puts out just dissipates out into space. It's how far away those cars are, and they're still quite loud. It's weird how the sound travels. It sounds like they're a lot closer than what they are. Where are they? Where are those cars? Oh, there. So they're quite a way away, but they're still quite. Oh. There's no cars here. Come on, cars. Where are you? There were cars going along there. Oh, there we go. There's one. Look how far away it is. I'm standing here. All the way over there. And they're noisy. Both ways. And off we go. Uh, what a boring video this is. Taitua Arboretum, 10 minute walk. Oh, only halfway. I have been mucking around with my camera. Horsey, horsey. Steam coming out of its nostrils. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. I mean, for country focus, I still see it every day, but for someone like me and comes from in the middle of the city in an industrial area you see this sort of thing you're like oh my heart sings no factories in sight that's a pretty tree I like that tree stay a bit zoomed in Well, I zoomed right out, it's not making the funny noise anymore. It seems to only do that sound if I zoom in on something. Oh, my camera's starting to take a dump. It's the beginning of the end for my camera. Might just be something wrong with the zoom, maybe it can be repaired. Those trees look cool in the morning sunlight. It's hard to read in, in this light. The contrast between the lights and the shadows are so um, extreme. But here we're going to walk through here. This is going to look cool. Follow the track. Two minutes to information map. No bicycles. Oh, that's good. I'm not on my bicycle. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I love the I love the way that the um, the shadows of the trees uh, get contrasted against the light of the sun looks like something out of a movie like, well certain types of movies you know. that looks cool shadows and the light. Sounds like I'm quoting Star Wars. Yeah, there's the sun. Oh, the sun's only just picking up over this hill. That looks really cool. Isn't that lovely?
I could use some of this footage for a folk metal video. Not use it for the next one. My next one is going to be called uh, The Path of Wildness. It's based on um, uh, the videos that are, uh, a, um, a guy I follow on YouTube called Kurt Bell. And he has a sort of philosophy in life called The Path of Wildness. Just look up Kurt Bell on The Path of Wildness and you find out what it's all about. Sun is going to say pretty low on the horizon today since we're only about three weeks off the shortest day of the year. But I quite, I quite like, I quite like it when it's like that. It has a real, I don't like the colour of that duck. I'll have to ask mum what kind of duck that is when I get home. She knows all about. She can identify birds really well. I'm better at identifying insects and spiders. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, I like I like it. I like sunny days in winter because there's, it has a really strange, um, otherworldly feel about it. Am I supposed to walk this way? I suppose that goes to tie to a bora, a bora, and and Carlosaurus. And this is the forest walk. So I might just carry on with the walk. Or do I want to have a look around? Tie. Oh. Power lines. Hmm. <laughs> Every time I see something man-made, I'm like, it's an intrusion. But the, you know, this is all man-made. I mean, this whole place is man-made. These trees were planted by people. So, but as soon as I see power lines, electricity. Argh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to upload this video without electricity. But still, oh, what's it doing out here? <laughs> I am a very strange person. I did want to work on my new song today though. I haven't written any words for it yet. Even though I have picked the subject matter, I have not written words for it. I always write the music first, it's easier. I've tried writing um, words without music, but I don't think I'm a poet. I think I'm more of a musician than a poet. I can only do poetry if I have music first. And I can't write non-rhyming poetry. I've tried, and I just, I just made me cringe. I have to write rhyming poetry. It's the way I am. Oh wow! Look at that power line. It's beautiful. The peaking you know, over there. Where is she? There she is, peaking, doing her thing.
Indian bird, I believe. Well, it isn't from India. They don't look as spectacular as the males, but I think I like the way the females look better because the males look kind of garish and just ostentatious, I suppose, just over the top. Like, look at me. But I suppose it's the female's fault because it is sexual selection that made the male peacocks like that. The more bright and colourful males are the more likely to mate and the more likely to pass on their genes. So the genes are being garish and ostentatious and over the top um, in an aesthetic sense uh, are, what get, are what gets passed on. Makes them an easier target for predators but apparently the um, sexual selection outweighs the I'm not sure that way. It's the, the, the survivability in terms of being eaten by predators, I guess. I probably think I've got bread or crackers or something. Bread isn't actually good for you guys. You know it's what it's better for you guys to eat grass. That's what you're supposed to eat. Look, look, you've got heaps of grass up there. Plus, um, throwing bread into places like this um, encourages bacterial growth. This is pretty cool. end up in the middle of the circle of trees here and we'll look up at the tops of them eh? they look taller in real life for some reason you don't really get the impression of how tall they are on camera if I go right up to one, and I'll go to this one. Oh, now I'll go to this one. Since it's, if I go right up to it, <clears throat> look at that! It's a stone circle. What on earth is a stone circle doing in the Waikato, in Hamilton? Well, out just outside of Hamilton, I should say. It's a stone circle. Not the most spectacular stone circle I've ever seen. Well, I've never actually seen a stone circle, I've only seen them on TV, but I wonder if druids come down here and at night and do whatever it is they do. <laughs> well, these chickens are coming to see me, I think they got, they think I've, they think I've got food. Don't have anything. I ate it before I came. Look at the colours on those leaves, of those leaves I should say. Oh. Very red. I'm trying to get a bit of shot of them the sun. Shining through the you can't see it. There you go. Shishin for Yura Saw
The sun's still casting shadows, long shadows.